Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 Next Gen Bill video. And today I have another one of those special 6 foot 10 big body Benz Bill. Y'all like these bills, so guess what? I'm going to keep creating them. So if you got a problem with that, you need to go talk to my subscriber, man, because they want to see these bills. And guess what? I'm going to keep creating them for my subscriber. So with this bill, we have a 6 foot 10 playmaker shot creator, right? And the crazy thing about this bill is that you get a 90 three-point shot on this bill. That's right, a 90 three-point shot with 86 pass accuracy. You get contact dunks with this bill, and you will be able to do what you need to do to get some buckets. You feel me? So with this bill, we're going with the small four because it's two hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. And you already see it, man. Six foot ten, big body bends. But I need you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that like button to get this video to 50 likes, man. You know what I'm talking about? 16, 200 pounds, 7 foot wingspan, built body shape as if you care because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go. Now, we're going to go ahead and start with the shooting, man. We're going to get this out the way because a lot of y'all probably think I'm, uh, I'm playing about the 93-point shot on this build. I wasn't playing no game, man. And me as a content creator, I have to create these builds a bunch of different ways. So if you see a build with a 90 sometimes, sometimes you got an 85, you got an 80, you got an 81, 82, you know what? I'm a content creator. I create three to four videos a day, man. And it's my job to give you different builds every single day. So for the three-point shot, right, we're going to get that up to a 90. Mm -mm -mm. 93-point shot, 80 mid-range shot, and the free throw is a 67. And as you can see, we get 24 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, you get a lot of Hall of Fame badges. That's up to you if you want to put them on Hall of Fame. But me, I will go with catch and shoot. That's a very important badge for me now. That's me personally. I love to catch and shoot. I like to get my feet set. That will give me a higher percentage. I don't like shooting moving threes and all that to each its own. If you like to play that way, that's you. I don't like to play that way. I like to get my feet set. I like to take a high percentage shot. And that's just what it is, man. And I would also go with Corner Specialist. I would use Amp Claymore, throw in Mid Magician. Um, and I would use Limitless Range on this build since we have a 93 point shot. Man, no, I'm talking about. But let's get into the finish. It. Oh, yeah. We can finish with this build. We're going to take that driving dunk to an 86, man. An 86 driving dunk is really, really good. A lot of people sleep on that 86 driving dunk, but I'm not sleeping on it because I have a build that finished really, really good with an 86 driving dunk. As a matter of fact, the 86 almost finished just as good in my build with the 93 or 94, whatever driving dunk that I have. But the difference is that the one with the higher driving dunk got gold posterized. That's the only thing that separates you from, uh, you know, the 80, you know, the 86 and the 90 something. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, y'all finished just fine. Um, and I'm I'm a witness to that. You know what I'm saying? For the driving layer, we're gonna get that up to an 82. Close shot is a 67. We don't want to change the name of the build. And the standard dunk is a 67. We want we went for 16 badges. You know, we didn't want to go overboard because we got to make room for everything else. And the playmaking and the shooting costs a lot for this build. So we just had to do what we had to do in the other two categories. So I would use fast twitch, posterizer, fearless, limited takeoff, slither, and I'll come back over here and try to get that rise up, man. But let's go ahead and get into the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page. And if y'all want everybody to see these bills over here, man, y'all will hit that like button and, and just let the video play so the watch time can get up. And that, that way YouTube can know like, hey, man, I think people like this video from Do It All Hall. Let's push it out there so more people can see it. And as more people see it and more people don't watch the video and like the video, everybody will get a chance to see these crazy bills and you know i owe that to you guys for the speed ball we're gonna get that to a 72 ball handling can only go to an 81 if you take it to an 80 i think it changed the name of the bill um if i remember correctly uh so make sure you take it to an 81 pass actually you already know you got to get that to an 86 man so we can get that big gold needle thread on this bill and as you can see we don't get anchor breaker right so there's one badge that's eliminated from the total amount of badges that you need so we're not worried about that but we will use hyperdrive. We we'll use climb breaker. Handle for days. Those three bags are very important. If you want to get by people, if you want to dribble, you want to cook up a little bit, man, you got that handle for days. That hyperdrive will help you with that as well. Quick first step. It will help you when you're coming out of that first dribble move. Bam. Hit them with the okie doke, the buffalo, and the shimmer do mark and go on about your business. Okay? And we want to use that needle thread just in case you are someone that like to pass. You got gold needle thread. If you can't make a pass with gold needle threader, then you are playing the wrong game. 
okay? So go out there and utilize that badge like you're supposed to. And I would say uh, add unpluggable to this build, but you may or may not have enough badge points for that. Man, that's tier three, man. Come on, man. This is a six foot ten build, and y'all put unpluggable tier three, man. Come on now, y'all making it hard on your boy, man. But let's go ahead and get to the defense, right? We're gonna have some defense on this build, but it's not gonna be like super, super crazy because we had to do what we had to do for the ninety three point shot. Now I created a lot of six foot ten builds, so I may come back and create this same build with an eighty five three point shot. Now, so keep that in mind. Don't necessarily don't think that. Just because I created a build one way that I'm not going to create another way. Now, you can take this blueprint and change everything on the build. Some of you may need a 93-point shot. Some of you may not need a 93-point shot. That's just what it is. You know, so uh, that's something you could change if you want to. For the interior defense, I'm going to get that to a 74. Um, that would give us brick wall on this build. Uh, we also get um, post lockdown as well. So, if you want to use those two badges, you do have access to them. For the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to an 80. The thing about 16 is that you don't get clamps, all right? So you can take the perimeter defense up as high as you want to, but you can't get clamps on the bill, and that's just what it is. For the steel, we're going to get that up to a 75. That's as high as we can get the steel because we did take the wingspan down to get that 93-point shot. So when you take the wingspan down, your steel and everything go down. So uh, that's why we have a 75 instead of at least a 78. For the block, we're going to get that block up to a 78. A lot of people probably say that's too low. But I beg the different man. If you know how to block shots and you got that gold chase down artist, uh, you got anchor on this bill, you should be able to block some shots now. Uh, most people probably say take it up to an 87. That's fine. You can take it up to an 87, but you won't have enough to get it to an 87 with this bill. All right, because I did give the bill some rebounding. Because we have 14 bags right now. We want to get that up a little bit. So we're going to take the offensive rebounding to a 73, and the defensive rebounding is a 72. So we do get 22 defensive rebounding badges on this build, which I think is really, really good. Uh, me personally, I like rebound chaser. I like Pogo. I like anchor. I like all them bad. That'll be 15 right there. Uh, that'll be 20 with chase down artists. That'll be 24 with box. And everything over here is just icing on the cake. If you want to use intercept or glove, that's fine. Uh, that's up to you. But we'll go from 22 to about 27. So I think that's really, really good. Now look at the combination. 16, 24, 21, and 22. Not bad at all. For the physical, we're going to get that uh, speed to an 80. Um, acceleration is a 75. Strength, we're going to leave it right there, man. I really would like to take that strength up, man, but 2K won't let me be great. We're going to get that vert to a 75, and we're going to put the rest on stamina. Somebody said 80, 88 stamina is terrible. How the hell is that terrible? That's 12 away from the max. Or uh, whatever. Not 12. Uh, I'm thinking about 100. Uh, that's uh, 11 away from the max. Like, how in the hell is that bad when you're 11 away from the max? It don't make sense to me. But, hey, man, let's get into the takeover. So we have uh, defense, sharp shooting, shot creating, and finishing. This is a play shot, so we'll just choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, we do have shades of, I don't even want to call it shades of, y'all know who the hell any shades of, the same names every freaking time, 2K. Playmaker, shot creator, the bill. I'm out of here, man. Ciao!